Financial freedom. What does it mean to you? Is it the ability to retire early, travel the world, spend more time with loved ones? Or maybe it's simply the peace of mind that comes from knowing you're in control of your finances. Whatever your definition, financial freedom is a goal worth striving for. It's about taking control of your money so that it doesn't control you. For many people, financial freedom seems like an impossible dream. They're stuck in a cycle of debt, living paycheck to paycheck, and feeling like they'll never get ahead. But the truth is, financial freedom is attainable for anyone willing to put in the effort. It all starts with developing the right habits. Think about it like this. If you want to get in shape, you don't just wake up one day and run a marathon. You start by making small changes to your diet and exercise routine. Over time, these small changes add up to big results. The same principle applies to your finances. You don't have to make drastic changes overnight. In fact, trying to do too much too soon is often a recipe for failure. Instead, focus on building one simple habit that you can stick with over time. So, what's the one habit that can unlock your financial freedom? It's simple, pay yourself first. This means setting aside a portion of your income each month before you pay your bills or make any other purchases. Now I know what you're thinking. Easier said than done, Rachel. I can barely make ends meet as it is. But trust me, it's possible to find money to save even on a tight budget. Think about your spending habits. Do you buy coffee every morning? Eat out for lunch several times a week? Subscribe to streaming services you rarely use? These are all examples of discretionary spending, things you want but don't necessarily need. By cutting back on your discretionary spending, you can free up money to save. And the best part is, you don't have to give up everything you enjoy. It's about making small, sustainable changes that you can stick with over time. Let me tell you about Anna. Anna was a single mom working as a teacher. She was living paycheck to paycheck. She knew she needed to make a change. One day, Anna read about saving money. The article recommended setting aside 10% of your income. Anna decided to start small. She packed her lunch every day. This saved her $200 a month. She canceled her gym membership. This saved her $50 a month. She cut back on groceries by $100. Anna saved $350 a month. She was amazed by the results. Anna's story shows how small changes can add up. One of the most powerful aspects of saving money is the power of compounding. Compounding is the process of earning interest on your interest. Imagine you invest $1,000 in an account that earns 10% interest per year. After one year, you'll have $1,100. But here's where it gets interesting. In year two, you'll earn interest on the original $1,000, plus you'll earn interest on the $100 in interest you earned in year one. This means that in year two, you'll earn $110 in interest, bringing your total balance to $1,210. As you continue to save and invest, the power of compounding will work its magic, helping your money grow faster and faster over time. The earlier you start saving, the more time your money has to compound. Even if you can only save a small amount each month, starting early can make a big difference in the long run. Section 5 breaking free from the chains of debt. For many people, debt is a major obstacle to achieving financial freedom. Debt can feel like a heavy weight, dragging you down and preventing you from reaching your full financial potential. The good news is that it's never too late to break free from the chains of debt. The first step is to create a budget and track your spending. This will help you identify areas where you can cut back and free up money to put towards debt repayment. Once you have a clear picture of your income and expenses, you can start developing a plan to pay off your debt. There are a few different approaches you can take, but one popular method is the debt snowball method. The debt snowball method involves listing all of your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rate. Then, you make minimum payments on all of your debts, except for the smallest one. You put as much extra money as possible towards the smallest debt until it's paid off. Once the smallest debt is paid off, you take the money you are putting towards that debt and apply it to the next smallest debt, and so on. This creates a snowball effect as you pay off your debts one by one, gaining momentum and motivation along the way. Section 6. Building a future you can be proud of. Imagine a life where you're not constantly worried about money. A life where you have the financial security to pursue your passions, take care of your loved ones, and make a difference in the world. That's the power of financial freedom. 
It's not about being rich or materialistic. It's about having the resources and the peace of mind to live your life on your own terms. It's about building a future you can be proud of. A future where you're in control of your finances, not the other way around. Building a solid financial foundation takes time and effort, but it's a journey worth taking. By developing the habit of paying yourself first, you'll be well on your way to achieving your financial goals and living a life of abundance. Remember, financial freedom is not a destination, it's a journey. There will be ups and downs along the way, but the important thing is to stay focused on your goals and never give up. Section 7. Investing in your future. Small steps, big rewards. Once you've started saving and paying down debt, you can start thinking about investing your money to grow your wealth even more. Investing can seem intimidating, especially if you're new to it, but it doesn't have to be complicated. There are many different ways to invest your money, from stocks and bonds to real estate and mutual funds. The best approach for you will depend on your individual financial situation, risk tolerance, and investment goals. If you're not sure where to start, there are many resources available to help you, including financial advisors, online resources, and books. The important thing is to do your research and invest wisely. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's important to be patient and focus on the long term. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight. Over time, consistent investing can help you build a secure financial future. Section 8. The Joy of Giving, Sharing Your Success with Others One of the most rewarding aspects of achieving financial freedom is the ability to give back to others. When you're in control of your finances, you have the freedom to be generous with your time, your talents, and your resources. Whether you choose to support your favorite charity, volunteer your time, or simply help out a friend in need, giving back to others can bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment to your life. It's a powerful reminder that financial freedom is not just about accumulating wealth, it's about using your wealth to make a positive impact on the world. When you're financially secure, you can approach giving with a spirit of joy and generosity, knowing that you're not sacrificing your own financial well-being in the process. It's a beautiful cycle. As you achieve financial freedom, you're able to give back more, which in turn brings more joy and abundance into your life. Section 9. Living a Life of Purpose and Freedom Financial freedom is about more than just money. It's about having the freedom to live a life of purpose and meaning, a life where you're in control of your time, your energy, and your resources. When you're financially secure, you're free to pursue your passions, spend time with loved ones, and make a difference in the world. Without the constant worry and stress of financial insecurity, you can wake up each day excited about the possibilities that lie ahead, knowing that you have the financial resources to make your dreams a reality. Imagine the feeling of waking up without an alarm clock, knowing that you don't have to rush off to a job you don't love. Imagine the freedom to travel the world, spend time with your family, or pursue a passion project without the constraints of a tight budget. This is the life that financial freedom can provide. It's a life of abundance, purpose, and joy. A life where you're free to be your best self and make a positive impact on the world. Section 10. Your journey to financial freedom starts today. The journey to financial freedom starts with a single step. It starts with a decision to take control of your finances and build a better future for yourself and your loved ones. It starts with a commitment to developing the habits and mindset that will lead to lasting financial security. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the thought of achieving financial freedom, but remember, you don't have to do it all at once. Start small, make a budget, track your spending, and start saving even a small amount each month. Pay yourself first, and watch as your savings grow over time. As you make progress, you'll gain momentum and motivation. You'll start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and you'll be inspired to keep going. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Section 11. Take control of your finances and live your dreams. Financial freedom is within your reach. It's not a pipe dream reserved for the wealthy or the lucky. It's a goal that anyone can achieve with the right mindset, habits, and tools. The first step is to believe in yourself and your ability to create a better financial future. It's to embrace the power of one simple habit, paying yourself first. 
It's to commit to taking control of your finances and building a life of abundance, purpose, and joy. The time to start is now. Don't wait for the perfect moment or the perfect financial situation. Start where you are with what you have and watch as your efforts compound over time. Take control of your finances, unlock your financial freedom, and live your dreams.